Okay, so I have a fresh scene and I am going to come over to the, the properties panel over here and we're going to click on world, world properties and we're going to click on the little yellow circle next to color and I'm going to pick environment texture. And now I'm going to open, uh, if I navigate to my HDRI folder, I'm going to pick a, an HDRI sky that I've already downloaded. Uh, now nothing's happened. So let's press Z on the keyboard and we'll go to material preview. You can see the lighting on my cube has changed, but still I'm not seeing anything. So if I come up to the top right hand corner and click on that little arrow, we can actually click on scene world like that. And now I've got a sky, I can see my HDRI sky. Um, if I press uh, Z on the keyboard, uh, sorry, no, if I press uh, G, Z, and then one, and I'll move my cube up to the level of the ground. And I'll do a shift A to create a plane, which we're gonna to use to uh, catch the shadow of the cube. So if I press S to scale it up a little bit like that, we've got a ground. Um, we can see that in this material preview, uh, we don't have any shadow. Um, so to fix that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna press Z on the keyboard and we're gonna go over to the rendered preview. And you know it's now casting a shadow, but that shadow is actually coming from our default light. So if we delete that, um, we don't have any shadow. But if we go over to the renderer pro properties and we switch from EV to cycles, and maybe we even use GPU compute, uh, we will start to get um, some lighting values or some shadow values behind the cube here. Uh, and you'll notice they're not very strong. Uh, and this is to do with the HDRI that we have loaded. So if I drag up on my timeline here and turn the timeline into a shader editor, what I can do is I then go to object and choose world instead. I can see the actual shader uh, and I can click on the item to open my HDRI folder and I can choose a different HDRI uh, once it loads up. This HDRI has a much more stronger directional light and so I have a stronger shadow and also potentially uh, now if you have the node wrangler add-on which comes with Blender uh, if it's active I can do like a control T and it'll give me uh, access to the coordinates of that and we can adjust the rotation of our HDRI like that and adjust the direction of the, the sun and therefore the shadows.